Hey y'all, I bought a 43 gallon dual chamber compost tumbler and it took about 20 minutes to assemble. For the unit I purchased, Mr. Spin, made by Exico Trading Company, all you need is a drill with a Phillips bit and an adjustable wrench. So how long does it take to make good compost? If done correctly, it can take as little as three weeks, though depending on the contents and size of the particulates, it can take longer. What's the difference between a tumbler and a compost pile? Tumblers are much more compact and definitely don't require as much labor. All you need to do is come out and spin the unit one or two times a week. A compost pile tends to be larger and requires more labor in turning the pile, usually with a garden fork, rake, or shovel. What are the advantages of a tumbler? Small size, usually less odor if done right, and can you can use in very small backyards or even apartment balconies. Moisture is retained much longer and there's less need for watering. The disadvantages are that the capacity is limited. Those with larger yards or acreage, you may need more volume than tumblers can provide. Another disadvantage is that moisture is retained much longer, so you need much more dry vegetation or carbon material than a traditional compost pile. So what can you put in a compost tumbler or compost pile? Kitchen waste. This doesn't mean your leftover Big Mac from last night, aluminum beer cans, or broken cups and plates. In this context, it refers to vegetable waste for the most part. You don't want to put any meat, dairy, or processed food products in your compost. That's going to attract the wrong kind of attention to your compost pile, be it predators or mold. Think vegan and generally you'll be right on target. Do vegans eat fruit? Are there fruitians? I don't know. Anyway, fruit and vegetable waste like cucumber ends and peels, potato peels, lettuce scraps, onion and garlic peels, carrot tops, etc. And even fruits or vegetables that have gone overripe or have started to rot. Smaller pieces you can add to the tumbler the better. In the case of fruits and vegetables, throw them into a blender before adding them to your tumbler. For dry vegetation, maybe run it over a few times with a lawnmower and then dump the bag into the tumbler. You can also use products like crushed egg shells, but not the yolk or egg white, shredded paper, newspaper, printer paper, or mail-based paper, but not magazine or coated paper. You may also need to activate the tumbler with a scoop of existing compost, garden soil, manure, herbivore manure only, or a store-bought activator. Turn the tumbler twice a week or so to infuse fresh oxygen into the chambers. Monitor the contents each week or so to make sure the mass isn't too wet or too dry. The consistency term that seems to be most popular is, quote, like a well wrung out sponge, unquote. How do you size a tumbler? Depends on how much kitchen waste you generate each month. If you estimate roughly 10 gallons per person per month and buy accordingly, you'll probably have more than enough to make your compost tumbler profitable. And that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, please like and subscribe. You can also find a link to the Tumblr in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.